Hey, welcome back. This is going to be the first episode in a new series called Heretical Thoughts, where I basically just give thoughts on different things. There will be no um, continuity in this where if you missed an episode, you're missing something important. This is just literally my thoughts on different topics. The topic I'm going to cover today is the new shade paints. Everybody should know contrast paints are getting some new stuff this weekend. Uh, I think 25 new paints. And the shade paints are being reformulated and shrunk down to contrast size pots. Um, so like a 25% reduction in size. That's bad enough, but I think the, re, um, the reformulation is the issue here. Enough videos are out now showing people using it that I know that I can no longer use known oil, at least not the new formula the way I use known oil. When I paint a mini, um, I tend to do a zenithal now. And then I will cover the whole thing in contrast paints of the different base colors. I'll get my metals on. And then I cover the entire model in like. Known oil or Agrax Earth Shade. Occasionally I'll leave, you know, 10 or 20 percent blank. And I'll folk and I'll give those areas a different color, like if it's skin. Um, those spots will get Reichland flesh shade, let's say. So anyways, those won't work that way anymore based on what I'm seeing. And hopefully I'm very wrong. Um, because I don't want to relearn how to use them, even if I can get a similar result with a different technique, that technique's going to take longer. I consider the non oil tax to be a reasonable part of my painting process. It gets me a very good result for what I want. Once the dry um, shade is on, or the, once the shade is on and dried, I should say, I can move into a few layer colors and my models look great. Deep dark shadows in the recesses and really nice vibrant colors on top, if that's what I'm going for. This new stuff works more like contrast paint though, meaning that if I slather this onto a mini, any flat surface, any like very low detail section is just going to leave um, or have like splotches left behind like you would putting contrast paint over, you know, your standard marine. I don't want that. I don't want black splotches here and there. I want it to do what it always does. I paint the mini with the contrast paints. I slather it in non oil and I set it on its base and I leave it. And by the time I come back, it's all run down into the recesses, made it nice and dark, and all the rest of the paint is just darkened. And I do that for two reasons. One, I like the result. But two, I just want the contrast paint to have sort of a seal. This way I can go and paint the layers, water them down as much as I need to, and not worry about rubbing the contrast paint off. So. That's also, again, part of my technique. If I can't just slather the contrast paint on because it's going to leave weird streaks and stains and splotches. Um, that means I also can't just use layer paints the same. I'll have to find some other way to make sure my contrast paint is sealed because I don't think adding contrast paint on top of contrast paints good enough. And that is, again, what it looks like. I really feel like to save money and time in the paint production process, they've combined how they make contrast paints with something different. And it's basically like the original shade process condensed down or dumbed down into a contrast paint process. It is probably what they've done um, as a way to save time and money. And a lot of people use the shades sort of like contrast paints. Prior to contrast paints, I had painted a big unit of Skaven using just shade on top of a white paint. And they turned out really nice, but there weren't, they weren't like the, they weren't as good anyways as contrast paints. So contrast paints really did come in and fill a void that the, um, that the GW line had. But the shade is not a void. The shade is like, it's like a it's like a cornerstone. I know what the shades do. I know how they um, react. I know what I can do with them. Now I don't know anymore. So anyways, um, 
that's the issue with it. Again, I've seen a few people post videos showing that this is happening. And so my reaction at first was it's not that big of a deal till I saw like the third video and said, okay, maybe this is a deal that I should pay attention to. And I decided that I would just go look online and buy a couple of extra pots. I went to the store I buy most from and they didn't have any. It was all sold out. And I know they had some the other day because I ordered my new contrast paints from them. And they didn't they didn't have it anymore. So I said, oh, OK, well, maybe they only had one or two in stock and they've been bought. It's fine. I use this other store. It's a big one, big one in Canada, uh, Meeple Mart. They didn't seem to have any. And I went to a couple of others that I didn't think were that big, but they also didn't have any. And so I started thinking, uh oh, this is kind of like um, when we went from, you know, the screw tops and then went over to the new stuff. And if you couldn't get the paint that you had been using for five years on this army that you've been slowly building and adding to, it was gone. I mean, there was no way to get it short of find somebody who still had some and buy it off them. And a lot of gamers, we tend to be hoarders. You're not going to sell something you can't replace, especially a paint. It might be one you don't use and you go, OK, yeah, you know what? Honestly, this is just taking space. It's going to dry out eventually. I'll, I'll get like five bucks off this dude. Awesome. But. Everybody uses known oil. No one's going to sell you known oil in a year, not the old stuff. Um, and if they do, they're doing it to make a profit. I went and bought six bottles of known oil today. And that's for me. I will never have to worry about non oil again. And if in like a year or two, I'm really just not making a dent in it. And I'm starting new armies and I figure I can make the new stuff work, whatever, whatever the reason is, I can sell it. I'll sell it for, you know, cost because I'm not the kind of guy that wants to make too much money off of this. You know, what if I, what if I sell something out of production, I want market value. But I mean, non oil, I'll, I'll make someone's day and sell it to them for the nine bucks I paid. But yeah, this is my point, though. I'm going to try to wrap this up here. If you need non oil and you need the non oil you have right now, don't wait six months to see if you can track some down if you think you're going to need it again. Um, just buy a bottle now while you can probably still find some. But like I said, I, I went to two or three places um, that I sort of use fairly regularly. I know they keep good stock and they didn't have any. And I went to a couple of other smaller ones that I thought, OK, well, nobody really uses this other than locals. And I know they sell online, but it's just local people buying. It's going to be there. It's not there. Now, maybe they were already out of stock and they just decided that with the new stuff coming, they wouldn't order. Maybe GW hasn't been filling those orders. I don't know. But once I found a place that had some, I just ordered it and said, screw it, I'm not going to mess about. I'd rather have extra on hand and try to get rid of it later. And I think that's when it comes to your painting, if you do something with your minis that you like, don't just assume that you'll be able to get it later. Um, I really do suggest maybe trying to find some. Anyways, that's the video. I'll, these these aren't going to all be rants and complaints. I try not to do that too much. It's hard not to with Games Workshop models and product and whatnot. I know everybody tries to knock them down all the time. I try not to. I do like their stuff. It's just this decision is very frustrating because this actually affects my painting. Painting is the one thing that I feel like I don't really need to worry about them messing with me too much. And apparently they found a way. So anyways, if you have any thoughts or comments, leave them down below. Um, if you think this wasn't too much of a rant and you want to hear more of this stuff, you can always sub. Um, and actually, now I think I'm at like 160 subs or something like that, 150 something. And I do want to thank everybody who's um, been subscribing the last month. Uh, I'm really blown away by that. I just I, I keep seeing that number go up, you know, by a few every day. And I'm just blown away. Like I can't like express enough how you know, kind of honored. I feel that people actually want to hear what I say or look at my mini. So that's really cool. Oh, I gotta go let my dog here in a second. So I'm gonna wrap this up right now. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments, leave them down below. And everybody, have a great day.